we took on a nightmare job that I knew was doomed from the start. Our shop is very comfortable with doing some small aluminum parts, maybe some complicated setups, maybe doing some mild steel every now and then. A very good pace of good parts, repeat jobs that were just keeping the machine shop going. We had a bunch of three axis vertical mills and a couple five axis trunnions, and we were just humming along doing some awesome work. And one day we come into the shop and on the floor on a pallet is a three foot long 10 by 12 piece of titanium. And instantly I asked myself, what the heck is that thing doing here? We took a look at the print and this whole piece of titanium stock was meant for two parts. We were basically going to have to cut it in half and do a left and a mirrored right. And both parts were super complicated where five axis work was definitely needed and we're going to have to have some very complicated setups. A couple different things went through my head. One, we've never cut titanium before. Two, we have great machines, but not really meant to cut these efficiently with the trunnions. Three, the margin of error with this is so small since there's one piece of material and two separate parts, a left and a right. The material alone costs thousands of dollars, not to mention the amount of time and effort that's going to take to complete these parts properly and in spec. My final thought when I saw this material is that management has no idea what they're doing. They have no idea how to machine anything, and they took on way more than they could chew, and it's going to be our fault if this part fails. So here we go. Now, the machinist in charge of this part was actually a good machinist. He had had a lot of experience but was limited with the capabilities of the machine that he had. And he also had some weird old practices that, you know, weren't exactly up to par with the level that needed to be going into these parts. He would do a bunch of hand programming, uh, also go and do some programming on Mastercam, but he didn't really understand it that much. So now there's this weird kind of unique way of programming that's not going to be able to be passed on to someone else. Hours and hours and hours and weeks go by, and one part isn't even done yet. There's still multiple operations that need to be done on the first part. So management comes into the shop and is like, what the heck is going on? We've ordered you thousands of dollars worth of tooling, got you everything you needed, and now this part's still not done. What is going on? Now I know what you're asking. Why would this machinist take on this job in the first place? In my head, if it was me, I would have fought tooth and nail to keep that out of the shop. But this guy, for some reason, whether he was coerced into taking it so that the machine shop could make a ton of money on this part like they were destined to do, or he thought he could legitimately do the part in an efficient time because, in his mind, he had the skills necessary to get this part done. And maybe he just didn't care and was going to give it a shot anyway. So, in the end, after weeks and weeks of machining, only one part was complete. And that was iffy at best because the surface finishes weren't good. There were weird lines all over the part. Who knows if the critical tolerances were even in spec. The customer ended up dropping the job, taking it away from us to give to someone else. They took back the material and we ended up with nothing. I'm sure all of us have been in a similar situation where you are either thwarted into some crazy part you think can't be done or management is given some impossible task how has this happened to you and what was the outcome were you successful did you fail what did you learn from these experiences i would love to hear about it guys love the trade love the industry thank you so much for sticking around If you like what you're hearing, guys, go ahead and like and subscribe. We're going to continue to bring free education to this industry and bring awareness to it so we can continue to make it great.